Hi, I'm Jen. I'm Brian. And today, uh, oh, we had our Christmas party. That's how come I got my name on my hat today. He's Jen. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, today what we're going to do is we're going to uh, talk a little about sparring. Sparring is, is we already know, is, is a whole different enchilada. It's a whole different animal, right? But a lot of the, 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 the uh, drills and, and skills, they cross over from your uh, self-defense training, right? So uh, they're both really, really good to learn, all right? So the first is distance fighting. So the first thing when you're talking about distance fighting is ranges, right? So we obviously, we know there's kicking range. Right? If we're in a fighting stance, Brian's in a fighting stance, right? Kicking range is where he can take, uh, from here, right? He can touch me with his lead leg, okay? Or kick me with his rear leg. See, he can hit me, right? This is kicking range, right? Okay? Half a step in from here, this is boxing range. This is where he can fully rotate his shoulders and he can touch me in the face, in the body, right? He can touch our, our, our master bedroom, right? That's boxing range, okay? And then half step in from here, we know this, this called trapping range. This means that from a bent arm, 70 degree angles, Brian can touch my body, okay? This is our range, this is Wing Chun range, okay? Then half a step in from here, right? This is also this this can uh, this can be uh, elbow range. This can also be knee range, right? And this can also be also grappling range, right? Takedowns, throws, wrestling, right? Okay. So now today we're only going to focus not the kicking, not the elbows, not the knees, not the takedowns. We'll get eventually we'll cover it all. But today we're only going to cover right now is the boxing range, okay? So, this range, where he can touch me like this, okay? I am now in boxing range, right? Even if I put, shift my feet one foot in front, he can touch me. This is, I'm in boxing range. So, we're going to worry about the, this range, right? Now, as a Chinese boxer, what do you want to do in this range? Stay out of your range. Yeah, you tell them. Don't tell me. Tell them. Stay out of his range. T stay out of what range? Boxing range. Stay out of boxing range. Half a step. So, that means if I can do this to Brian, here, come here, Brian. Okay? Like this. Or even if he shifts his one foot in front, like a fighting stance. Or he shifts the other way so they can see. Right? And his hands are up. Right? But I can still touch him. Right? With a straight turned rip or turned hand. That means he's in my range, he's in boxing range, okay? So he wants to be half a step outside of boxing range. So he's gonna take half a step. See now, right here, put your hands down. I can't reach him unless I overextend, then I can reach him. Or I take a, a step in, okay? Then I can reach him, all right? So if he's, in, if he's there, right? Or if he, if he neutral stands, Okay? But the distance here doesn't change. He's still half a step out of boxing range. Okay? That's where if you're sparring and you're, a, and you're trying to use your, develop your Wing Chun skills, you have to stay out here. Okay? You have to learn this range. Again, we're not talking about kicking range uh, today. Alright? So, we're only going to worry about the boxing. Okay? So now, the problem is that when Wing Chun guys are sparring, they spar with what? Other Wing Chun guys. So I want to be here, medium, uh, medium range. Brian wants to be here. So it, Wing Chun guys don't really learn, learn to turn your shoulders like a boxer, like a true boxer. True long range, right? So you, if you really want to develop your skills against a boxer, you need to train against people who can really do that, all right? So, since I have a lot of experience boxing, okay, so I'm going to uh, uh, do, uh, help Brian develop his skill, his, this, this drill. So, one easy way to start is Brian is going to keep his bent arm range, 
Okay? The 70 degree range. Uh, angle, right? This range. Okay? And I'm going to fully extend my arms like a boxer. Okay? Right? Fully extend. Right? So this is good for him. I can use both hands, this is okay. But my arms are fully extended. Okay? Brian's going to lightly touch my arm, my hands. Okay? Now, his goal, and you can, you can, you can cut my hands. Yeah. Okay? His goal now is to keep this distance, keep this space. So if I, if I move forward, Brian has to adjust, keep this range. If I move right, he moves left. If I move left, he moves right. If I go back, he has to follow me. Right? If I switch my feet, he can switch his feet. He has to do whatever he can, right, to maintain this range. Okay? I'm trying to pull away. I'm trying to get close. I'm trying to get around him. Okay? Right? And you notice the footwork, okay, is dictated by Brian trying to maintain his shoulders, his hip, hip and his heel alignment. Okay? So you don't worry about how you should move your feet. Okay? I always, if you look at my feet, when I'm moving, okay, I always use like a little, like a crab, small movements, small movements, small movements, okay? small movements. You don't want to use big movements like this. Okay? Not like that. Small movements, small movements, okay? small movements, small movements, small movements. Okay? So just do it like that. I'm fully extended, Brian's just learning to maintain, right, small movements, small movements. Yeah, that's it. Keep your arms bent, yeah. Okay? He's trying to maintain this range. Got it? So that's one easy w drill for you to start learning how the correct distance, where you should be at all times, okay? Um, after you learn that drill, okay, then I, what I want you to do is have one person put on some boxing gloves. Ah, okay. So I got some boxing gloves. Or you can use MMA gloves, just be careful. All right, so I'm gonna put these gloves on. shoulders, okay, Brian is going to uh, put his hands behind his back, like this. The reason why I do this is because I don't want Brian to rely on his hands to do all the defense. I want Brian's feet to do all his defense, okay? Position, learn to get the position, all right? Control the distance. So, my job as a boxer is, is I'm going to try, I'm going to try to, to to touch Brian's face, a little light love tap, okay, or a love tap, love tap, love tap, right, okay, while I'm in long range. Brian's job is to stay half a step out of my boxing range, okay, but I can move my feet too, so I'm going to try to, but I'm going to go slow, okay, I'm going to help Brian, I'm going to be a good partner, I'm going to help him develop this skill. So from here, right, and you also notice Brian doesn't commit a foot. The reason why I don't like to commit a foot is when you're sparring, if you put one foot in front, then it becomes a target, right? It becomes a target, right? I don't, I don't necessarily like it, unless you have to put it there. But I like to keep the feet fairly neutral, as long as you, okay? Because now, by putting the foot back, slide it back to a neutral stance, now, he, there's nothing here for me, I have to, I have to, really get in close now to get to Brian's body or to his head. Okay? He pulls his structure all the way out. All right? So I like to start this way. But of course he can move. All right? So we're going to play a little bit. I'm going to try to touch. Brian's going to try to stay away. Okay? I'm trying to touch. I'm trying to touch. Okay? I'm trying to touch. Okay? And it's a good habit to not learn to go straight back. Like Brian's doing, that's not a good habit. He should circle. 
Circle, yeah. Like a crab, see that? He circles, see? He becomes evasive. Yeah. Okay? Okay? You notice he's trying to keep his structure. Okay? He's using small steps. Right? Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Don't let me get in. Good. Okay? Now, obviously, you don't have to worry about hooks, uppercuts, because a good boxer is not going to try to hook and uppercut you from out here. This is no silly, right? No boxer is going to do this, right? The only time I would do it is if you made a if you came in, yeah, then then I would uppercut hook, right? Okay, so practice that way. Light touch with your partner. Make sure you go back and forth with your partner. Okay. Then uh, uh, the last thing I want you to practice is. Triangle step, okay? So, Brian's gonna show you. So, if I come, now if I come in, and let's say I punch, we're not gonna, I'm, we're, this is more like a, from a static position, we're not gonna move around yet. From here, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, don't move Brian, I'm gonna step and punch, and try to drill Brian in the chest or in the nose, right? Okay? Brian is going to do his triangle step, okay? One, slide, get to a V step. Come here. You see his feet? They form a V. Okay? That's a, we call that a V step. Okay? Then he's going to step and slide in. That's the triangle step. Okay? You guys are used to this uh, from the muck jump. Right? Okay? If I'm doing this, this is the one, this is the, the muck jump, right? He slides out, get to the V step, slide in. No, no, slide behind. You can, you can step behind the leg, or if the leg is really step out. Okay, but if, if the leg is in your way, you can step in front. Okay? It doesn't matter. Okay, don't worry about it too much. Front or behind. Okay, same thing. He goes, he goes the other way. Slide out. Okay, he's gonna triangle step in. See? Okay, if my foot's in his way, he steps out. He step, and then he, st he can step in front. That's okay too. Okay? You don't really have to worry about the, so much the knee from there and stuff because he's, because your el he, his hand should be, once he steps in, I should be off balance. Okay? Alright, so from here, don't use your hands yet. We're just training your feet, training your body. I'm going to come in with a straight punch. We'll go this way so they can see. Alright? I'm going to step in and I'm going to try to drill Brian right in the nose. That's going to force him to do what? He's going to step. Then he's going to step in. Okay? You see, he's facing me. He's entered my space. I feel crowded. Okay? Then go back. Okay? And you're just going to keep practicing this. Yeah? Slide out. V step, slide in. Okay? Slide out, and then slide in. Okay? Slide out, and then V step, or triangle step in. Okay? And you want to practice both sides. Yeah? Okay? Uh, and don't worry about making mistakes, okay? If I punch this way, but Brian goes the other way, he just steps in inside. Yeah, see, this is fine, okay? There's nothing wrong. You can be inside or outside, okay? Doesn't matter. Outside my arm, he goes inside my arm, doesn't matter, okay? Get it? So now I want you to practice like that, all right? But a couple things. We talked about that 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 range, right? Being outside a boxing range, okay? Give me a boxing stance, right? Okay? Now, if Brian uh, punches, let's say, see this? I'm in a, my bent arm, right? He's fully extended. This is the half step out of boxing range, right? This is good for me. Right? Now, if Brian steps in, let's say, let, I'm pretending like he's stepping in with a punch, right? Yeah, okay? But I'm just going to stay connected to him, okay? Now from here, let's say Brian steps in with the punch. If I just step straight back, I, ha I haven't gained anything, okay? So what you want to learn to do, that's how come stepping back, not always good. What, I, what you want to do is, this is like, 
the center. Think of this as the center of a, a compass, like a compass, right? You go like this, and the compass swivels, right? So from here, when, when he steps in, that's, I'm going to swivel around that point. But I'm in half step out of boxing range. When he steps in to punch me, I'm still the same distance. This, this distance is still half step out of boxing range. Okay? This is where I'm going to V-step. Okay? So what I, why this is important is because this is where people get into trouble. Why? Because Brian steps in, but when I step out, see, I go to a V-step or I go to a triangle step, but when I step, I've, I'm too far from Brian now. I'm too far. Now when I step in, he's already going to adjust. Okay, and nail me. Okay? Or, same thing, right? He, he, Brian steps in a punch, right? Okay, he steps in, but I step in like this, okay? But I already feel crowded. I, I feel like this, now this becomes a, 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 a muscle game. I try to get him or punch him or push him. He's going to try to push me and regain his center, okay? So, you want to be in the exact same distance when he steps forward. Okay? I want to be in the exact same distance okay? before I step in. Okay? So you have to practice that. Right? So now, that's very important. Don't forget that. Because once you get into sparring, that's where the, the, the little mistakes become glaring mistakes. They become big mistakes. Okay? And you see it. And you keep getting hit. And you go, why am I getting hit? It's because you're not controlling the distance as you're moving. Other one, other one. Thank you. Okay. So, now that we know that, now Brian can use his hands. Okay. And he can use uh, simple movement, pox out, pounce out, bump, whatever. But he's going to keep it simple. Right? Right? See how he's moving? Always trying. I'm moving. See how I'm moving in, but he's adjusting too to, to maintain that range. Okay? So from here, I'm gonna I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna I'm gonna stalk him. I want to get a good angle. Right? I want to get close to Brian. He's not allowing me, right? So I'm testing, testing, right? Okay, testing. Right? And when Brian feels safe, when he when he feels like I commit to the move, right? Then he's going to step. Yeah. Okay. And he's going to invade my territory. Right? And he's going to do that drill. Right? And we're just using a simple push drill. Right? So we're going to slow it down for you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's coming in with a step. He's using the same footwork. He's just using his hands to shoot the basketball. I'm here. Move in. Step in. See? Right here? Yeah. See how he's got me off balance? Okay. Step in. Now he shoots the basketball. And that pushes me out. Okay. Right? So that's all that's all he's doing. Okay, so it's the same thing. He wants to stay out. Okay? I'm the boxer. I'm gonna try to get in closer. Right? So okay? I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to set him up. Right? Okay? See? Oh, I'm gonna let him. Okay? But okay? then I whenever I feel like it, then I'm gonna get comfortable and I'm gonna throw my punch. Yeah. And Brian's going to come in. Okay. Yeah. And he's okay. So you see that? So it gets comfortable. Okay. We're not moving fast. But since i got gloves on, my goal, my incentive is to try to love tap Brian. Try to touch him. Okay. By closing the gap. All right. Brian's job is to maintain the distance. The distance. Okay. Medium range. Right? And when he feels safe, he enters with that footwork. Okay? So the goal is the goal is to learn that range. Okay? That that specific range. Half a step outside a boxing range. Stay there. Okay? That's that's safe for us um, when you're uh, sparring against boxers. Alright? And waiting and patient, you're patient until you find an opening, then you go in. Okay? So 
that's the lesson for the day. Make sure you uh, practice so that eventually you, you can lead up more and more into free sparring, right? But as you're, uh, you're getting better and better, uh, you're, you, you understand, you're putting all the pieces together. Uh, but again, it's always about the structure, a moving structure, okay? And uh, uh, that's it, all right? So uh, I've been super, super busy. I'm trying to not only finish this book, but also uh, on Wing Chun and Chinese boxing, but also on uh, creating my first DVD uh, uh, training DVD set for you guys. So uh, I'm going to be working on that. So I'm, uh, but I'm also trying my best to try to get uh, something out to you guys uh, to keep you guys motivated and training, which is the most important thing, right? But uh, just to let you know, that's going to be uh, something in the near future. Uh, so and and also it, t it eats up a lot of my time. Uh, so I don't get a chance to answer everyone's uh, emails, messages, and things like that or questions. I know everyone's got tons of questions, and I get bombarded by them. But uh, and I do do when I get the chance, try to view and read as many as I can. And a lot of them are very encouraging, but a lot of them are, are also very very good. So I encourage you guys to keep asking questions, even though maybe I don't reply back to you guys. But if I when I see the same types of questions over and over, then those are the types of, of videos that I tend to lean to, uh, towards it, to to try to answer not just for one individual but for everybody. Okay. So uh, we'll get into more and more uh, uh, sparring, aspects of sparring um, uh, as we go along. Okay? But th this is something that you guys should start drilling, start practicing, getting comfortable moving your structure, right? Not trying to hurt each other, but tra helping each other train and develop those skills that you're going to need so that when you spar, you feel comfortable, okay? So thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you soon.